So it's been quite some time since we've spoken about Rex on this channel. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of had to take a break from it because talking about Rex too much or just listening to his delusions way too much will make the most sane individual go crazy. But the little guy's been on a roll. Making threats here, making threats there, all well before his court date, which actually happened two days ago. And I'm not sure if anyone knows the outcome of that court date right now, but since it's been two days and we haven't seen the goblin whatsoever, I think it's safe to say they might have restricted his internet access or finally put him in a group home where he belongs. But anyways, I was over at the Music Biz Marty subreddit, and I came across a screenshot that says Cyrex is still following minors online. And it's genuinely sad to say, I don't think he will ever learn. I don't know if this person's real or a catfish, but either way, it says the person's 16, which if you're a groomer slash predator, which Rex is, that's easy pickings to come in and, you know, do your thing. Now one thing I noticed is that this person doesn't have any posts at all, and only follows two people. Now I don't know if one of those people was Rex himself, but as you can see here, he's following her. Does he know this person in some kind of discord chat or online during his gaming and stuff like that? And she gave him her Instagram account to follow? Or does he sit there on Instagram, you know, lurking, looking for minors to follow? Hoping they have some kind of bikini pic like that one did. And like I said, this is all before his court date. And it made me ask myself the question, is Cyrax redeemable? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be the judge of that. As we're going to listen in to some of his recent calls with Michael Hacking, someone he once called friend, who's now turned enemy over not helping him with his court case, I have no clue to be honest. All I know is he can't keep a friend for more than two weeks. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, wait, let's, wait, no, start from the beginning. I 911 you 27 times to call me. You didn't order anything. Oh, okay, I'll listen. Go ahead. Right now, yep. saying that I fucking bitched out. Yep, you did. Oh, yeah. You so did, because you, you were on Xbox. I saw yeah, you, you liar. You know, you chance, you know, chance, you, you know lied. Risk, little... Risk, he already ratted you out. He told us that you fucking, you were on Xbox and you weren't going to go. Wait, well, you know what? You can tell that fucking... I'll her oh no! You don't talk about her like that. Don't you fucking dare! You don't you ever fucking say like that, that word? All right, so already we have some pretty vulgar language coming from Rex, and this just shows that he's incapable of having a normal conversation with anyone he deems as an enemy. He's like one of those NPCs from a video game that like <laughs> you have to like watch out for their sightline because as soon as they see you, they just will not stop attacking you. And some context too, what they're talking about right now is that Cyrex has been on an escapade of calling out Kate from Masshole again, claiming she had no right to do what she did, claiming that she's a pedophile for whatever reason, I don't understand to this day how he can come to that conclusion. And basically he was invited to her panel to air out his grievances and give his side of the story again, like last time, and instead he decided to flake on her because he, he's, he's just a, he's the coward of Akron. I don't, how can someone, I've met some very cowardly people in my life. I've seen them online, I've seen them in real life, you know, I, I've never seen it to this degree of just cowardice. What are you afraid of, Cyrex? What are you really afraid of? You know, that, that's something I ask a lot of adults who like have these issues where they, they lie to somebody or they're always conniving, whatever. What are you afraid of, bro? You know, high school is over. Nobody can get you in trouble no more. You're a grown ass man or woman. Come on, do better. No, Chance, I swear to God, I'll fucking hunt you down myself. Oh, yeah. you're such a fucking pervert, liar, asshole, pervert. Well, guess what? That package of evidence is going to the fucking cops, buddy boy. Oh, they're all going to the cops. Hey, how's the anger management going? It's under control, obviously. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. She's fucking friends with Kate, and fucking definitely involves her. You little cocksucker. Why don't you hey. take a shower, you fucking grub? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I love his Michael's wife, dude. Oh my gosh, he's hilarious. Like, 
at first i was wondering who this lady is but it, oh my goodness this is this is amazing do you see what he's culminated do you see the the anger he can bring out of somebody that the sheer vitriol he can bring out of somebody who's probably like i don't know these people like that i don't know their life but it doesn't seem like these people cause any problems but when it comes to rex he can always bring it out of somebody you know you can be the most passive person in the entire world and i swear maybe five minutes or ten minutes into you know cyrax lore and you're gonna want to like you're gonna want to give him that mike tyson two-piece man like ay 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 why don't you hey hey why, why don't, don't you, you take a shower you grub listen go dunk your head in a fucking bucket of water and fucking rinse and off throw your mother and stepfather into you bunch of grubby pricks Fuck you. hey hey Chance, if there's any men in your clan, fucking put them on the phone. I'll fight them. Yep. Hey, what's eight? What's eight? What's eight plus eight? What's eight plus eight? Your father's a girl now. How's it feel? What's eight plus eight? Your biological father's a girl. What's eight plus eight? Why don't you go suck his dick, asshole? Hey. I'm sorry. Did, did you just threaten my wife? Wow, anger management working. Anger management working. Hey, bitch boy, why don't you shut up and open your fucking goddamn eyes and realize that Kate ain't the goody goody two shoots you fucking think she is, man? Really? I tell you what, I'll put every fucking asset I got on fucking Kate right now. I'm all in. You want to go? I'm all in, Kate. Team Kate. Kate always wins. Kate always wins. I, my eyes are wide open. I've fucking seen you fucking t 20 fucking miles away by your stench and your grubby little fucking. You're like Linus. Yep, anger management. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You're four foot nine, you fucking crab. Listen, listen, don't make threats and fucking write checks your fucking face can't cash. That was fun. Just listen how mad he is over the phone. You know, he, he, I've never, he's like a, I've made this analogy. I don't know if I made it on video, but I have this analogy. If you, you know, if you watch my channel, you probably know I'm a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. It's a childhood game of mine. But Dr. Nefarious, if you don't know, he like, <laughs> When he gets mad, he like snaps, like the gears in his brain snaps, and he just like kind of freezes and, and gets like stuck on a loop. I don't have the capacity for love, Janice. I was cursed by a tribe of gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. I know, Lance. I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. <laughs> And I feel like that's what happens to Cyrax, where as soon as something triggers in his head, he, he the, the small, rusty, disgusting, sludge-filled gears in his brain just snap, you know, and he just, the only thing he can think of is just to go on a loop of anger, and, and it's like he, he's like a motor that can't calm itself down, you know, the snowball effect. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Wait a minute. So what? So what's my charge gonna be? Backing up? Backing up a criminal? My ass isn't fat. That's actually not fat at all. What's four plus four? What's four plus four? Two plus two? One plus one. What's what's one plus one? Why can't you calm down? If you didn't do it, if you're innocent, why are you so mad? Okay. Doing what? Showing evidence? Am I okay with her showing evidence? Um, yep. Check mark, yep. If if she's showing evidence and you're not there to refute it, it's perfectly fine with me. You know, jokes aside, this is why people call Cyrax a horror cow instead of a lol cow. Because if if he was not the way that he is, his brain capacity is very low, but it's enough that he should be able to face consequences, right? 
and if he if he looked normal this guy would be locked up in jail already you know uh, uh, about a week ago i made a poll and asked the question if he is found guilty for what he did to aware myself would you rather him be put in a group home or a psych ward or would you rather him you know go to prison and i was pretty shocked to see the results of the poll i was not expecting this thing to be about 50 50. half of you guys are more understanding and like lenient when it comes to this case and saying And the other half was just like, Fuck that. Lock this fucking fell! Lock him up! He's a fell! Lock him up! Put him in fucking prison! Solitary confinement! Some people were going crazy, you know? Like, I had a dude who said he wanted him in a motherfucking animal testing facility. Like, golly, bro. <laughs> I mean, I hate his guts too, but man, no. Nah, I'm on the side of psych ward, just because, like, we all know if he went to prison, after he gets out, he's gonna be like, yeah, I'm super, he's gonna act like a Billy Badass, you know, he's gonna act like a, a little tough guy. And honestly, psych wards I've heard are horrible. And for someone who doesn't believe they're actually mentally deranged, it can be hell, you know, having to be around people like Daniel Larson or, you know, I, I, I don't know how Christian psyche is nowadays because, you know, he might be medicated, but uh, having to be around people like that while you yourself don't believe you're psycho, you know, and and harboring all that anger probably would be a worse sentence than prison ever would be. Can't be serious. You're fucking insane. You're insane. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't understand how you can sit there and be okay with what K fucking did to me, knowing that it ruined my life, knowing that it almost got me fucking killed twice in a fucking row. How can you sit there and be okay with what she fucking did to me when I've done nothing to her? She had no reason to do what she fucking did to me at all. What? What's so fucking why don't you? Why don't you no, watch? Why don't you watch no, the stream you and you'll find out that there's a reason. Someone that does shit like that, man. How? That makes you just as bad. And matter of fact, that makes you look like shit from a business standpoint. Defending someone that goes around and does shit like that. I'll, I, that I tell you what. If Kate, if Kate would be my fucking, if Kate would be the image on every business dude. card and poster Wait, I had, I would no, fucking Michael. love it. She's no. Good. She's got ten She's times no the fucking good. reputation that I'd ever, I'll ever no have. Good. I'm sure we're all familiar by now, but all Kate did was catfish him into sending pictures to someone he thought was an underage girl she didn't trick him at all to summarize the story she suspected that he was a creep because these things are kind of obvious when it comes to certain people she found a stock image of a girl literally all she said was i am being bullied that is it she said i am being bullied i am underage i am doing homework and my mom is cooking and within a couple hours or a day or so, Cyrax sent disgusting pictures to someone he thought was an underage girl. And that right there is what sparked a lot of the animosity when it comes to Cyrax. And to this day, he flip-flops from whether he did something wrong or right. He's saying she had no right. He's saying that supporting her makes her look bad. If that's the case, that makes NBC look like actual horrible people because they platform one of the biggest predator catchers of our lifetime, Chris Hansen. I know some people have their reasons to not like him because of recent things, but as far as his work back in 2007, it was it was legendary. And shout out to these dudes. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but uh, DAP, Dads Against Predators. I love those dudes, man. Like some people don't like their methods because they can get a bit rowdy. But honestly, when you read the chat and you see it, like it's all fun and games until you read the chat, you know, and that's what makes it not funny anymore. That's what makes it angering because it's like, how dare you? prey on anybody let alone a little girl you know like it's not just little girls or little boys it's it's human beings you know and that's what makes it so disgusting when you really get to the nitty-gritty of it all yeah those guys got taken down off of youtube though unfortunately but uh they're up on rumble if you want to go take a look i i highly recommend it she's no good wake up michael she's pretty good she's pretty no, darn she good i think 
If she was good, then why did she do what she did to me? Because you're she dangerous. Because you're dangerous, Chance. And you're you starting to it. talk. You're starting to talk like, like a predator. Shut the fuck up. Chance. What she did was illegal Chance. and wrong, and you know it's that. It's not. No, I never said that. I, you said that. Do. I just, you I just listened to you say it. I never said it. Shit. What she did ruined my life. She did it out of spite because I look different. No. No, she didn't. No. No, don't oh, no, no. Yeah, no, you're not gonna say that. No, you're not gonna say that. No, you're not gonna go there. Kate never did anything because of the way you look. She didn't. No. Are you sure? Are you sure? Why? Why? Are you gonna have risky come shut my computers off or something? Hey, did you have a computer problem tonight? I heard. Did you have a computer problem? Chance. Chance. I got nothing to lose. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of your little bitch wife back in her up. I'm not afraid of any of you motherfuckers. You say, I'll tell you what. You mention my wife one more time, group. and I'm coming to Skull oh, Scratcher know, Baron, and I'll do what no bitch. one's fucking done yet except for Marty, except I'll finish the fucking hey, job. Asshole. Listen Let to me. Right now, this is, this is a fucking I direct threat. Don't, Marty. there's no gray area. I got a fucking half a sandwich and a piece of potato chip in my mouth. I haven't eaten in fucking eight hours. Today. I listen to your fucking ass all day so I can monitor you, you fucking predator. You need a fucking leash. Jeez, no one's scared of anything. No, I fucking turtle's not scared of you. Goodness gracious, what does Sally do all day if not wrangle this guy, man? Like, their house can't be that big. I'm sure she can hear this all day, every day. And it can't be fear. I know a lot of our empathy or sympathy for Sally is is, is hit like negative five hundred. But where did where does this stop? Is this her? Is this her? Is this court date? Her ticket out? You know. Apparently, there's a rumor going around saying that Sally shaved Cyrax for his court date. Which, if that's the case, I need to see those pictures. I genuinely need to see that. But these ramblings, these these. The screaming, this is the sign of somebody who needs to be medicated. And I have a theory, he probably already has been, you know, medicated. They, they've probably sedated him or something like that or, or sent him somewhere because there's, there's no way unless the judge just doesn't care that they can send this man right back to this environment so he can prey on somebody else. And the worst thing about not just Chance, but all these kind of predators or just plain horrible people is that they don't see that they did something wrong. Unlike your ass, I don't hide from you don't hide from anybody? Really? I go out of the house and run around all fucking day long. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding. All right. I'll give you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. What time? Why are you hiding? What time? Why you What do you want me to do? Telepath? Like teleport myself? You beam me up, Scotty. Chance, have the mothership beam me over to you and we'll fucking talk face to face right now. Or actually, it'll be fucking face to crotch with you, but anyways. I fucking retired on fucking January 1st, 2022. You have two little fucking brain cells that are rolling around in that fucking brain helmet of yours are not fucking functioning right. I'm a fucking everybody. I'm a fucking all and everything body. Hey, tell that to shut her I, I tell you what, this is, I don't give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck about you content or anything. You're not going to use that fucking word again. Now that's it for the phone calls with Michael Hacking. I do want to say though, hey, congrats for retiring, bro. That's cool. Shout out to you. Hope you are uh, <laughs> enjoying your retirement. I can see you're enjoying it well with these calls. But yeah, so Cyrex ran away from the panel with Kate. I don't know why he even wanted to go there. He wanted to revisit the scene of the crime, but he ended up calling her later on. I'm not gonna go too in depth about this, but I just wanna make it known that he actually did speak to her, not in a good tone though, in his normal Rax tone. He, you know, it's insane because she's still not taking the route of just full on anger like he is, even though she could because he's an actual degenerate. You are, you're delusional. Hey, Kate, hey, Kate, hey, Kate, let me ask you something real quick. Well, let, let, let's go back to the original Quinn here. And, and I already know you're going to try to project this, and, that, and that's fine. That's cool. It is what it is. But why is it again that you felt like you had to do what you did? Like, what? tell me again why you felt like I was a supposed file. Because you are. Well, you just had to give my 
No, no, no. That right there ain't a real answer. That right there ain't a real answer. I want a real answer. Was it something? What was it? Was it? But, but here, here's there. No, let me ask you. No, let me ask something. If I was really a file, then why is it not on my record? Because, Cyrex, predators, groomers, and rapists are sneaky. You see? They're like Spy from TF2. Sorry, Spy, but I'm going to use you for this analogy. Uh, they hide in plain sight. They disguise themselves as nice guys or trustworthy figures. And when it's least expected, they backstab you. Boom. They do it. And then they laugh in your face and act like you were the one who caused it. And that's what you are. Akron court system, please do it. Do us justice. Do humanity some justice, man. With, with Chris Chan being let out with no repercussions, we, we need this. We, d we deserve it. We deserve it. You had no grounds to do what you did, bitch, at all. You had no fucking grounds to do what you fucking did. It don't matter if I gave off vibes or not. It don't fucking matter. You had no right nor any reason to do what you fucking did. You didn't know me. You didn't know what the fuck I was about. You could have just checked my fucking public records and seen that I wasn't that. But instead, you decided to do what you did, which makes what you did illegal as fuck. Oh, and just for the record, bitch, stop hitting on my motherfucking stepdad, bitch. You see, this attitude right here is why you should never feel bad for this guy. If you had a little sister and you, you caught an adult talking to her in the DMs, and so you took control of her account and it was like, hey, send me pictures, right? And the guy does send, you know, salacious pictures. Who's in the wrong? You for asking for it or the guy for sending them? Obviously, every normal person would say the guy sending the pictures is in the wrong, which they're correct. But this guy, Rex, do you see how he talks to her? Do you see how he's like so big and bad over the phone to this lady, you know, that did nothing wrong to him? Just put him in an ankle lock or something just to hear like, I don't know. This is why I flip flop between group home or prison because man, oh man. I don't think he'll get obliterated in prison, but somebody, somebody will have to like Bruce Lee one inch punch him in the chest just one time. And, and, then, and then he mentions his uh, stepdad. I know Rupal's his biological dad, but this has to do with Rupal. I've been hearing rumors that Rupal is now Rupet. Is, is that, is that real? Or, or is that just another one of those RP Barb things? Can someone confirm that please? Oh, what's the matter? You mad? Oh, by the way, I hope you know that I'm a Oh, by the way, I hope you know, I hope you know that, I hope you know that all your little fans, hey, I hope you know that all your little fans hear this right now. All your little fans, this is live right now, and they're seeing this shit, quite frankly, they're pissed at you, okay? What you did is illegal as f You had no, 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 you had no grounds. You had no grounds to do what you did, bitch. You had no grounds to come at me. None. And we all know that you had a hand in going after Chris Chan. Hey, bitch, why, what, why, why, why do you have on your computer? Why, 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 do you, stop projecting, why you all, hey, look, guys, she's projecting, again, like always, because that's what you do. Oh, no, you're projecting, quit projecting, quit projecting, oh, it is, it's projection at its finest, it's projection at its finest, Kate. Hey, Kay, why, why, why are you hitting on my stepdad? By the way, why are you hitting on my stepdad? Why are you hitting on my stepdad? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? And guess what? You're delusional as fuck. You're a delusional crackhead. You're a delusional. Hey, Kay, by the way, by the way, Kay, I hope you know that when this goes to court, and the judge sees what you did, and they see your history, they're gonna lock your ass up because you have a history. I don't. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call irony. I think. Isn't that irony? I think so. People always get pissy about the definition of ironic. I don't know. I'm finding it ironic that he just went from your projecting to one of the biggest projections of all time. I don't have a record. <laughs> Chance, have you ever never looked yourself up? You say you're a household name, but you seem to not even know your own record. At all, whatsoever. So, now it's a one thing, and I've gone out of jail the next No, 
This is actually technically my first. And besides, it wasn't assault. The cops arrested me for no fucking reason because they don't fucking like me. It don't matter. Actually, no, I did not. No, I did not. If you watch that, then shut up. Please shut your ass up. You don't know shit. You really don't know nothing. That dude caught the fucking bat. That doesn't make it fucking assault, bitch. He caught the bat and grabbed it away from me. That does not cause this. No. No. Remember, guys, if you try to shoot somebody unlawfully, if you miss, it's not attempted murder, according to Cyrax. And also the the please like it's so corny coming from Cyrax, man. Like I know this the slurs or whatever the the bad words makes people mad but it doesn't really affect me you know I, I could care less about what someone says on the internet but what does make me actually mad is the fact that he's such a pussy about it you know what i mean like he says these things that people find offensive and then when they confront him about it he hides behind an elderly woman that's what really makes me mad say all the bad things you want online i don't care but at least stand stand tall on it. At least be about your business. If you're gonna say stuff like that, at least have the guts to fight about it. You know what I mean? Like, but instead he runs every time, and that's what really pisses me off. That's the real. That's what really offends me. You know. Here's the thing. He stepped on the my property, which made what I did legal as fuck. He only he only know it. Stop and listen. He only he only know. Shut up and listen. The only reason no, shut up and listen, bitch. The only reason why he was able to claim assault. It's because when he grabbed the bat, he stepped back on the public property. Therefore, what I did technically was utilizing the castle law. He refused to leave our property the last several fucking times to leave our fucking property. But nothing, but nothing, bitch. But nothing, bitch. That made what I did perfectly legal. Oh, and you want to know why? I have proof that he set this all up to begin with. And trust me when I say, I do plan on showing that video on my channel. I do plan on exposing him, just like I exposed you and all your little terrorist friends. <laughs> yeah, no. The only way that he's going to get exposed. Oh, wait, I forgot. And you know what's funny? And you know what's really funny? It's the fact that you think that you're some hot shit, but really you ain't nothing but some dumb, druggy little bitch on the fucking internet pretending to be a badass. Ladies and gentlemen, that's round two of irony. Seriously, where does he come up with this stuff, man? It, this is just someone who hasn't... It's, it's honestly sad when you say it out loud, but this is somebody who hasn't done anything in their entire 30-something years of life. And that that's... You only hear it once. And all he's done is just shout in that dark ass room with that broken door and that shitty decor bars. And and it's like he he just he he didn't even peak in high school. He peaked in like third grade. It's really sad, honestly. Like he's never cooked himself a meal. He's never bought himself a pair of shoes. You know, small stuff like that. Like never driven a car, never accomplished anything, never applied for a job, never got that first job. Oh, do you guys remember the first job you had and how, you know, you're super young, you're like 16, 17, and you're super proud of yourself, like, hey, mom, dad, I got the job. I don't know, just small shit like that. And it's just, instead, this is his legacy, is, is being made fun of online by internet cyber bullies like myself and screaming at people and also being a pedophile. Ah, what a world we live in. You're playing, you're, you're playing kiss ass, bitch. You're playing kiss ass, bro. Why are you such a whore? Why are you such a slut? Yeah, well, guess what? You're desperate as fuck, bitch. Hey, how about, how about this? How about you do, how about you do yourself a little favor and do this? Learn how to sew, grab a sewing needle and thread, and stitch your f***ing snatch up because nobody wants that nasty ass motherfucking cooch, bitch. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that's enough for me. That was probably the worst cringe-inducing, vile comeback I've heard in quite a while, to be honest. <laughs> what is wrong with this dude, man? Yeah, uh, at the beginning of this video, I, I asked the question, do you think that Cyrax is redeemable? Do you think that if he went to prison or a group home, his sins could be absolved? Uh, because I'm all about punishing people who deserve it. You know, I, I believe every single one of us, mentally ill, in our right mind, whatever, 
are worthy of consequences. You know, it, it, isn't, it doesn't have to be killing the person or going to jail, but we should be punished so that we know right from wrong, so we can actually learn how to be civilized. And that makes people upset. But anyways, it can, do you think that he can be absolved if he was punished adequately? A lot of people say the guy needs help, the guy needs, you know, it's not his fault, he's not all mentally there, which in my opinion is not an excuse. If that's the case, then someone needs to put him in check and make sure this doesn't spill out and to the rest of the village, which is society. If he's in his own abode, he's in his own house and not hurting anybody, you know, and he's not going after people online and he's just imploding on himself, it would not really matter because it doesn't affect others. But once somebody's behavior affects other people, normal, innocent lives that don't deserve this behavior, then that's when it becomes, I don't care if he's not all mentally there or not, somebody needs to do something about it. His guardian should have done something about it. The cops should have hauled him away by now. And that's where I'm at. So in my opinion, is he redeemable? Every person is somewhat redeemable, but Rax chooses to not redeem himself. You know, he he's still following underage girls. He's still raxing out. He's still threatening people. And there's, and there's no doubt in my mind that Sally wants him out of the house because I don't think she can take care of him now or even 33 years ago when he was born. But that's about it for today, guys. If you made it this far, you're a goat, so thank you so much, I super appreciate it. If you liked the video, please leave a like, it helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, and sub if you wanna see more content like this. As for the people who want more music, I'm working on it, all right? <laughs> I'm working on it. I had to contact all the all the companies for my VSTs and they're very slow to, to reissue my licenses because you know i lock is a bitch if you know you know but anyways thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a lovely day please check on your loved ones and stuff like that so they don't end up like racks please check on yourself so you don't end up like racks i'm gonna go hit the gym it's my back day and i want that demon back like baki and listen to blink 182 so uh i'll catch you guys later peace where are you and I'm so sorry, I cannot sleep, I cannot dream tonight.